the director of music here at Asbury North Memphis. And thank you so much. I know today is rainy and it's gross and you know, you can be out there doing something that's not this. And so I really appreciate you coming out and supporting this wonderful flute choir. How often do you get to hear a flute choir? It's so wonderful. Um, so thank you for coming. Um, just so you know, there are restrooms over here. There are restrooms over here. They're pretty much equidistant from where we are, so wander around and we'll find a restroom if you need one. <laughs> and they're both big. But um, thank you again for coming. And I'm going to just uh, let Frida Proctor, the director of this ensemble, take over. But just so you know, this is a flute group from Leavenworth. And they drove all the way here in this rainy weather to come perform for you. So thanks for coming. And I hope you have a great concert. Obviously, that's not what we have. We have an arrangement. 
Margrave of Brandenburg in 1721. Bach wrote a lengthy, flowery dedication to the Margrave, who never thanked or paid him for the works, which had now become a benchmark of Baroque music. Each concerto required a different combination of instruments, and each concerto set a precedent in scoring. This concerto was originally written for three violins, three violas, and three cellos in basso continuo. I wonder what Bach would think of our arrangement for two piccolos, C flutes, and altos. <laughs>
Uh, it's called Ich habe genug, which basically means I have enough. And the translation means I have enough because I have taken Jesus into my heart. And if I pass on this day into my best life, it will be joyful because of everything that I So um, you'll probably recognize it if you don't. It's incredibly beautiful.
was also a flutist, and he wrote six flute concertos and other works for flute. It's 
used a lot in advertisements. It's, it's all over the place, so I bet you'll recognize it. But um, this piece in the opera, it's where the character Lachne and Malika, they go together, flowers by the river. And so in it, you'll hear a lot of, like, you'll hear the water flowing, and you'll hear wafting breezes, and it's just beautiful, and I hope you enjoy it. And it's usually sung by two women, but because it's a flute choir, it'll be a soprano and a flute. Enjoy.
was commissioned by Kusabinsky for the opening of the Berkshire Music Center in Kent.
but it's written, the tune was composed by Giulio Caccini. And Giulio Caccini was one of the first Baroque composers. He's a very early composer, and this tune is very romantic. It's been romanticized, and it's beautiful. And if you don't know the words to Ave Maria, it's basically, Hail Mary, full of grace, you are blessed among women.
In the early 1900s, there was great interest in collecting and preserving the folk songs of England, Scotland, and Ireland. And with their newly invented recording devices, Pulse, along with Ray Vaughan Williams and others, went about the countryside recording and notating the songs they found. Melodies from these songs found their way into many of their larger compositions. The three little songs that, we're gonna, that are set that we're doing today were originally written for soprano and piano.
much for enjoying this music with us. And we do have to have one funny little piece that we'd like to do as a little encore. It's seasonal, I think you'll get it. <laughs> 